that might make it onto my playlist. That's fan service as a song. All right, today is actually the last day that I'm gonna be here before I'm moving to Seoul for my exchange year, like tomorrow. Well, the day after tomorrow. Tomorrow is my absolute last day here where I'm gonna be packing because I really have to pack. I had planned to already be done with packing at this point, but I got sick over the weekend, so here we are. Tomorrow is my last day, I haven't started packing. I still have an entire, like, I, I have mountains of clothes that I am planning to pack, but I haven't started trying to fit them into the suitcase and realizing that it's way too much. Yeah, there's still a lot to do. So, as a last little parting gift that you will probably see in a couple of months or in like a year, what do I know? Whenever I'm that far into my editing process, as a light parting gift today, I am gonna be filming something that everyone and their grandmother once again has been requesting for years like you guys have like this hive mind of always requesting the same things <laughs> so today we are gonna be checking out oh my god am I gonna get this together white noise artificial love playboy thunder I think in a d d definitely completely different order but I don't remember I don't think I know any of these songs and usually my rule is I do not react to live performances of songs I've never heard before because I'm not great with enjoying performances of songs that I've never heard before. I think it's way more fun if you already know the songs. But, well, I'm kind of flying out in like less than 48 hours and... So today, as a absolute exemption to the rule, we're not usually doing this. But for once, as a parting gift, I will be reacting to something where I don't know any of the songs yet and we'll just be checking out the live performance. But, and there's a but to this, a big butt. I keep making this joke every single time. Um, I will be reacting to the Seoul version. I know that everyone will be complaining that they would have rather seen the Japan version and I might be reacting to the Japan version on my Patreon at some point. But as you might know if you know me, I don't react to Japanese content on my YouTube. It's just too risky, honestly, because their copyright stance just changes what feels like every full moon. Something will be completely okay and the next day you're gonna get uh, in big trouble for having uploaded it three years ago and I just don't want to risk it. There has been times where I've risked it because I just didn't know it was Japanese content until I've already filmed the reaction. But here I knew that it was Japanese content because it was legit in the link. So I was like, okay, let me check if there's also a Seoul version. And of course there's a Seoul version where the Japanese version has like 3 million views. That one has less than 100,000. But maybe I can contribute to getting it to 100,000. Seoul performances also deserve some love. So without further ado, let's jump in. Hi there! If you've never watched any of my videos before, you can click the link on the screen right now or in the description to watch the entire playlist of all of my EXO reactions from the beginning to end, in chronological order. Alrighty mighty, here we are. I really hope that you can see what I'm seeing because I'm still recording on my laptop and I will never get used to having a single screen. This is gonna be really interesting. Like all three of these songs never heard them before. So my expectations are, honestly, I'm expecting this to be either hype or sexy because uh, that is usually the type of performances that people like to recommend. For performances, it's usually always either the hype stuff or the sexy stuff where they just kind of expect big reactions and I'm honestly not really the person for the biggest reactions but we will see. Also there, there's a song in there that's co legit called Playboy um, so <laughs> that does sound like it might uh, be sexy. Okay since I don't really have any expectations I would say let us just jump into my last reaction that I'm gonna be filming for you guys before I'm leaving. What? Legit still feels like it's weeks away but let's go. <laughs> Ooh, lays in there again. Nice. Oh, we're getting Chanyeol singing. Okay, I'm already a big fan of it. Also, I like the hair color. You guys know, like, I am such a sucker for Chanyeol singing. I just wish he got more singing lines in everything, everywhere. Okay, let's continue, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
I'm really appreciating the hair color in Suho also, if that is Suho. Suho is the one member why I'm not 100% sure when I see him. I'm always like, but what if he's someone else? Which is really weird because if I am like 99% sure on everyone else, then obviously the one that's left should be Suho. But so I'm always like, what if he's not though? Anyways, uh, I really like that hair color as well. And I really like the stage elevators that they use just because having recently been to a standing concert, if you're not like in the first three rows as someone that's one meter 60 tall, you're like, if you're in the fourth row, you're not gonna see anything anymore. <laughs> so it's really nice that they use stage elevators. Also, if you ever go to a standing concert and you haven't been to one, honestly, if you're not within the three rows, then go further back because you're gonna see way more further back. I've experienced that several times and still, every time, I just get pushed further forward because everyone wants to go forward, just don't. If you're not within the first three rows, just go further back, you're gonna see more. You're gonna see better and you're gonna thank me. More water! They really like the water in there, huh? Don't you worry, <laughs> Just saying that because I did react to another performance, like last week, I think, and they also used lots of water. I like it for the visuals, I still always get slightly concerned that someone's gonna slip. I just really hope their shoes have good grip. That somehow rhymed, I didn't plan for that. Anyway, so that was white noise, I suppose. As said, since I don't, I haven't heard any of the songs before, so my reactions to the songs themselves are probably gonna be rather bleak, because let's be honest, I do not have the capacity to react to everything at once. So when there's a live performance and I haven't heard the song yet, there is a fair chance that I either will just concentrate on the melody and uh, talk a lot about the song but then not really realize what's going on in the live performance or I will just concentrate a lot on the live performance and then not really realize what's going on in the song. That usually doesn't happen because I usually know the songs and I've heard them at least once before but not today. So um, as for white noise, uh, the instrumental sounded interesting. It was a very calm song, kind of slightly eerie. Um, can't really say a lot about it to be honest. Let's jump back a little. Thunder. Mm, that sounds good. might make it onto my playlist. Why is it so warm? According to the weather that I just checked before starting to film the reaction, it should only be like 30, 40 degrees Celsius, but I'm dying in here. <sighs> but it's not just because of what I'm seeing, I swear. Okay, let's continue. I 
Have I mentioned today how Seon is looking like an entire snack? I think I haven't said it yet today, so here's our daily. Seon looks like an entire snack. I like the song. Is that thunder or is it still white noise? Like, I feel like it should be thunder because the first song felt wrapped up, but also there's still so much time left over, so like, what do I know? The notes are so nice. Wait, and there's an ad. <laughs> Yo, no, you can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. I haven't seen it yet. Ah, <laughs> you can't spoil me like that. Okay, I think I can skip it now. Oh my God. I didn't know it would be that dangerous on YouTube. <sighs> Wait, that sounds more like it would be thunder now. Maybe that was still white noise and the song just had a very disconnected start and middle. Yeah, honestly, that's gotta be thunder. <laughs> I'm getting some very uh, teeny tiny hints that it might be connected to thunder, so yeah, it probably is. <laughs> Oh, those lucky fans in the front. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting very mixed signals from this song because I hate a part of the instrumental. It's just really not my style at all. But then the, uh, the vocal parts, like the vocal backing track of the instrumental, it's kind of the supporting vocals in there are very nice and I really enjoy them. So I'm very torn so far. <laughs> Yeah, this definitely is thunder. <laughs> loving it. What did I do to deserve this? How is there so much Chang Yul singing in there? I never get Chang Yul singing ever. I always wish for it and they only let him rap. Where is this coming from? Where can I get more of this? <laughs> I swear, this is somewhat disjointed. Like, my YouTube is lagging today. Or is it? Mm. 
따라간다 따라간다 쫓아간다 쫓아간다 찾아간다 찾아간다 점점 더 멀어져 시간의 벽을 넘어 너를 찾아간다 지금은 달라도 시작은 같았다 아직 돌아갈 수 있다고 믿어 지금 하나 둘을 졸을 세면 우리 거를 잰다 Okay, that was nice. Okay, the next song is Playboy. They just said let's play. So we're definitely in Playboy now. I am back on track with what song is currently playing, I think, at least. <laughs> do their choreo and they have that oh my god i know i'm so sexy smoke on their face <laughs> like they know what they're doing and honestly even if the choreo itself doesn't affect me much usually it's that <laughs> usually it's when they have that face that they know they're so good looking while doing that that's what usually gets me <laughs> the confidence <laughs> Thanks to the stylist. Mm, nice Well, that's high. That's fan service as a song. Add in two seconds, okay. Okay, since I think the last song should be starting about now ish, probably, I'm just gonna say what I thought about Playboy. And if Playboy is still continuing, let's forget that I said that and just act as if I said it after the song. But I think also because they put an ad here, probably now, I feel like the song itself, Playboy, maybe that will change after I've edited it and I've heard it another time. But just hearing it like once now, it kind of feels like the kind of song that you have to see performed because it probably, as a studio version, wouldn't really be doing anything for me. I, there wasn't really like thunder and white noise both had parts in it well if white noise was what i later thought okay that has got to be white noise and then that has got to be thunder if that is the case then both of them had parts in it that i found very interesting that i really enjoyed whereas playboy i feel like i only really enjoyed visually and performance wise but the song itself I didn't really have any like i would probably not listen to that ever myself like just the studio version uh probably probably if it came up on shuffle i would probably listen to it of course but like i probably would never be in the mood to search for that exact song to listen to that exact song but uh, performance wise i can definitely see why it would be appealing uh for sure but i do again have to say that i feel like my um reactions to these kind of 
choreos are always like people are always like oh my god how did she keep so cool i think it's because i am not like a xol yet that i'm not like that deep into the fandom yet i don't have that connection yet probably <laughs> because i feel like if um like one of my favorite boy groups had done that exact choreo i would have probably reacted slightly different so i often feel like um these kind of choreos are strongly enhanced if it's a person that you're already either attracted to or just i guess no better oh that that's weird because that kind of goes into the entire why do people pay for only fans <laughs> rude as in it's more interesting if it's a person that you like kind of have a connection to than a random person i suppose even though exo aren't like completely random people to me anymore but i'm not like i don't like really know them yet so they're more clean slates to me I suppose. Okay, that is really weird to explain. It makes total sense in my head. But then again, it probably doesn't because a lot of my favorites I'm not attracted to. But it's rather really just uh, people that you know more of, I guess. Not clean slates. Uh, I don't think I can explain that. Okay. Don't know if that is still a part of the one before or the new one. I appreciate some props. Honestly, if Lei is not part of the dance line as I think he is, I'm gonna be confused. Is he? Thanks for spelling it out for me. For some reason, I keep hearing artificial luck. Which would be interesting. That kind of reminds me of Harry Potter in a way. <laughs> I love how it goes from like dangerously sexy to really cute. And back. Ooh, that are some prime seeds. I like that one note that just repeats throughout the entire song. It has something about it, I enjoy it. Lay looks so good. How the how the screams just like raise in volume according to what move they're doing in the choreo at the moment. <laughs> okay, I understand it with that move though. <laughs> Understandable. Continue. Artificial love. Artificial 
commanding the crowd, I'm telling you. Lei is such a performer. That's really sticking out to me in the past couple of performances that I've seen where he was a part of them. I'm really unsure what to think about this song. <laughs> I need to remember to breathe. Ooh, that's nice. That does remind me that I haven't seen a glimpse of Kai this entire time. It was sick, I suppose. That was very nice. Oh, that was so sudden. All right, so I was suffering throughout this entire performance, I have to say. How is it that warm? It doesn't, it, it shouldn't be that warm. But then again, it's always pretty warm in my room because there's several computers running, so. <laughs> but during um, film and reactions, when there's also the lights on and everything, that makes it <laughs> way warmer than it already is anyways. This was very fun. I do have to say, um, Kai, yes, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna be hearing about it in the comments that there was no Kai in this. I know, I, I, I realized in like the last second. I was very entranced by the performance before, so I didn't do a head count or something. <laughs> <laughs> but in the in the end I was like wait did I did Kai ever stick out to me and then I was like well usually Kai is always the person that sticks out to me the most in performances so that should have been a dead giveaway and when I thought about it it was a dead giveaway so I suppose he was probably sick or injured at the time which of course is sad and as said I might also be checking out the Japanese live performance at some point on my patreon but that's how it is it's either the sole version on YouTube or no version on YouTube <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just- Japanese copyright scares me. Alright, so this was pretty fun and very different from the last couple of performances that I checked out. I have to say, and I don't know if that is because I just never heard any of the songs before, or if it's just because this is, was a selection of songs that isn't quite my cup of tea, but music-wise this didn't really do all that much for me. I feel like I liked it less as it progressed musically like visually performance wise i enjoyed it mm, i feel like still white noise was probably my favorite part probably um performance wise followed by artificial love like i really did like um the stage props that they used that did make the choreo a lot more interesting but I have to say that music-wise, the songs weren't quite a selection that uh, hits my taste very well. Thunder was pretty interesting. I, I, Playboy didn't do anything to me, um, music-wise. Like, I don't think I would listen to that uh, on my own. And the last one... I, on the last one I was really torn, because kind of like Thunder, it had some elements that I really enjoyed and some elements that are really not for me that I'm not just neutral about but that I actually rather dislike than like. So um, on Thunder and um, Artificial Love I was rather torn musically uh, but yeah visual wise, performance wise, choreo wise I did enjoy all of them. Uh, just musically I it wasn't really my cup of tea, I think, the songs. White Noise in the beginning I was really not a fan of, but later when I thought we already went into Thunder, which later turned out very likely wasn't Thunder, actually turned out to be a quite interesting song that I really enjoyed later on, like the beginning, uh, the kind of intro part. Um, I didn't really care for but later on really enjoyed it. I guess um, overall for the entire performance it was a very 
fun time to check out. I feel like I definitely have to check out the Japanese version at some point on my Patreon just because now that I realized that there was no Kai in this, it, I really feel like it's missing because Kai in their live performances is just always the part that sticks out the most to me. Even though I feel like if I were to have a bias, I always thought it would be Chanyeol or uh, Seon. But recently I'm kind of leaning towards Baekhyun, but like Kai isn't up there for me, but still um, he always is the one that sticks out the most to me in performances. So he really was missing in here, so I will have to at some point check this out. I'm just kind of moving to Korea in like two days and I don't know if I will be able to film there. So we will see when I will be able to check it out. And Why does my hair look like this? Why did the camera completely change just now, hello? <laughs> Anyways, um, so that was it for me for today. As said, I know in the comments there will be a lot about Oh, you should have watched the Japanese version. Oh my god, camera, stop doing this. I know that you guys would prefer me to watch the Japanese version of absolutely every performance on Earth. But yeah, you know my rules. It's either on Patreon, the Japanese versions, or on YouTube, the Soul versions, or both but not interchangeably, so I'm sorry about that, but I do think this should be better than nothing, right? It's free entertainment after all, <laughs> so I do hope you guys enjoyed anyways, even if it was the soul version and even though there was no Kai, please forgive me for that, but it's better than nothing, let's be honest, it's better than nothing. Uh, thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you guys again soon, I hope to be able to film for you guys again soon. Even if it's in a year, honestly, I feel like this year is gonna go um, by really fast, so it will probably still feel like very soon, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you're still enjoying my channel, even though I'm probably uploading a lot of stuff that I filmed forever ago at this moment, but kind of keeping me very busy, so thank you for still enjoying my content, and I will see you guys soon-ish. Bye! Be free to watch anything from over here. Until then.